My name is Gavin Marks. I'm a medical oncologist at the Sydney Adventist Hospital. I'm the clinical director of the Integrated Cancer Centre and I'm the director of the SAN Clinical Trials Unit. The SAN Clinical Trials Unit has been open for just over 10 years. Uh, we've included over a, about 500 patients on various clinical trials over the years and we've probably had more than 50 different clinical trials open in different tumour streams and for different tumour groups at different stages of a patient's cancer experience. Uh, we're very proud of that and I think what that's done is allowed us to contribute to the international literature and the international progress of uh, cancer treatment over the years and it's also allowed us a way for our current patients to be able to access drugs that they otherwise wouldn't be able to access that may have an impact or a potential benefit on the way we manage their disease. A clinical trial is a research tool that is used to try and identify a gap in what we understand in a particular treatment for a particular tumour group or a tumour type or a particular stage of a tumour to try and see if there are things that we can do to further improve the results that we currently have in managing patients with that particular problem. There are a number of clinical trials and there are a number of different levels that we look at in clinical trials, all out there to try and find the best way of delivering uh, the most effective treatment in the least toxic way. There are a number of different ways that clinical trials can be done. Some are in interventions, some are with procedures. The clinical research that we're involved in is mainly looking at new treatment options or new medications to try and improve cancer outcomes. And there's a number of different levels that trials go through before they're actually made available to our unit or to other people around the world evaluating these drugs. Often there's a, a biologic uh, mechanism that underpins the reason why a particular drug would be developed or evaluated. And then what we would do is test that drug in, animal, in, the, in the lab first, and then we'd also check, test it in animal models. We then, if, we sh if it's shown that this does seem to have some activity or does look interesting, or does look like there's a potential benefit from this, it will then go on to the next level of uh, trials. And those level, the first level of trials is called a phase one clinical trial. And in a phase one clinical trial, we're really trying to establish what is the best, most effective dose of the treatment. And then once we've established that, then the next thing we do is take it into a phase two trial, where we test that agent in specific patients with a specific type of tumour to say, is this drug effective for this particular type of disease? If we then show that it's effective in this type of disease, the next step is to say, well, let's really compare it to what our current standard of care is. And that's when we look at a thing called a phase three trial. And a phase tr three trial is really evaluating, is this better than what we're currently doing? And that's really a randomised trial where we, uh, a computer decides which group each of the pa which um, it, a patient goes into, and they'll be um, randomised to either the new agent or the standard of care to try and see whether the newer agent or the newer treatment is better, either from an efficacious point of view, from an activity point of view, or if it's better from a tolerability point of view or a better side effect profile. And obviously there's a wide spectrum of clinical trials that are being evaluated at the, at the present time, both in our unit and in units around New South Wales and around the world. And each of these trials is hoping to incrementally improve the outcomes that our patients are experiencing with cancer.